In this tutorial, we'll look at updating from FL Studio 11 to 12 and the transition to the new plugin management system where you want to use the insert more and tick a favorite workflow. So let's run the installer and get started. Next, of course I've read the contract. All users. On the components page is the first non-default option, the plugin database. If you like working in FL Studio 11 with the insert big list of alphabetically sorted favorites, you should choose the flat database. As the install location is FL Studio 12, this means 12 will install alongside any previous versions, so won't interfere with them. This is my custom VST search folder, but go with the default if you don't have one. That's all the locations, and we're ready to install. So there's the new icons, and we're installed. Now before we open FL Studio 12, let's take a moment to remind ourselves of some important settings in 11. Starting with the options, audio settings, I have my audio driver set to the native ASIO for a Creative Z series sound card. Many of you will have it set to ASIO for all V2. Next show the ASIO panel and note your latency setting. 10 or 20 milliseconds is a good target on most machines. And take a moment to note all your other settings on this panel. On the file settings, this browser location is set by FL Studio. But the second one here is my browser extra search folder. Take care to note all the folders you've set here, as this is where FL Studio looks for your custom samples and sounds when loading projects. You'll need to reproduce these in FL Studio 12. Also, if you have an extra VST search folder, this is where many of your VSTs will be located. So note this for addition to FL Studio 12 too. Now we're ready to open FL Studio 12. So in the options, audio settings, I'll choose my native ASIO driver. In terms of performance, that's low latency, you should first choose a native ASIO driver if you have one, then if not, ASIO for all V2. And finally, use the FL Studio ASIO. If you've had issues with FL Studio blocking the sound from other applications on your system, why not try FL Studio ASIO? It's fully multi-client, so you can watch YouTube videos and use FL Studio while hearing both at the same time. Okay, so I'll just check my latency and other settings match FL Studio 11. And on to files. So this is where you reinstate your browser extra search folders. You can click the folder icon and browse, but a neat trick is to open a Windows file browser and then drag and drop the folder onto the FL Studio browser like this. Done. Don't forget your VST extra search folder if you have one, and we're done. Let's test. I wanna see the things. Okay, back to why we use the install flat plugin database. The plugin database shows here in the browser, the same as FL Studio 11, but we now also have this category icon to simplify the view. There are three main folders, effects, generators or instruments, and installed with both effects and generator subcategories. The first two folders are your favorites list. For example, the generator favorites show here on the plus button. They will show if you right click a channel and select insert or replace. The effects favorites show here by left clicking the FX slot, and you can even go add channel or effect. If you're a fan of the plugin picker, you can press the F8 key or middle click on the background. You can also right click the plus button to show the generators and right click the FX slot to show the effects. So how do you set your favorite plugins like you did in FL Studio 11 and earlier, such as the right click, insert, and then click the more F favorite switches, not forgetting the refresh scan at the bottom. The equivalent of refresh plugins can now be accessed by right clicking the plugin database on the browser and choosing refresh plugin list. The list of newly found plugins shows under the installed category. There's effects where all native or fruity, newly scanned and VST plugins will show. Now this part's important. Under effects, you will see both generators and effects and the same list will show under generators. New plugins are colored orange and appear in their relevant categories. 
The reason FL Studio is listing all plugins in both generators and effects is because we haven't done a deep scan. A tutorial about using that is linked in the video information. Use a deep scan and FL Studio will correctly categorise your generators and your effects for you. But we are being old school today and ignoring that for the sake of speed. So how do we get these installed plugins to show as favourites? Let's start with Vanguard, which is a synthesizer instrument and so a generator. Notice I'm selecting from the installed generators category. Right click it and select add to plugin database flag as favourite. This pop-up is telling me I'll miss out on thumbnail images and I'm generally being recalcitrant. But I don't care. Just click don't ask this in future and you won't be bothered again. Now if we look in the favourites generators list, Vanguard is there. But most importantly, Vanguard is now also on the favourite pop-up places. There's Vanguard. For effects it's the same. Make sure you are choosing from the installed effects category. Right click the Scarlet Compressor and add to plugin database, flag as favourite. And now it appears in the FX pop-up favourites. And I can add the Scarlet Compressor. And Vanguard as I did in FL Studio 11. And here's a pro tip, if you open the Channel Rack Plus menu and choose Browse All Installed Plugins, the plugin database will open at the Generators category. And if you use the Mixer menu and choose Browse All Installed Plugins, the browser will open at the Effects category. And this will stop you making the mistake of choosing your favourite from the wrong category. Now to remove plugins from the Favourites list, open the Plugin Database, Generator or Effect category, right click the plugin and select Delete File. So now Vanguard is removed from the list. And the same with Effects. Down to Scarlet, right click, delete file, removed. Just remember to make those favourites from the correct installed category or they won't work and you'll get a pop up when you try to add the plugin complaining it's not an effect or generator when it actually is. Until next time, enjoy being old school and managing your own plugins with FL Studio 12. I wanna see the thing